welcome to the PKI Security Certificate Training video. This is one of the steps that you'll need to do before you can access service coin. So listen closely and we will explain how to install your PKI. First of all, the PKI adds an extra layer of encryption to secure our client information. That's why it's a very important part and make sure you download it before you can access service point. First, we're going to show you how to install the PKI the easiest way. During this method, you can install it into both Chrome and Internet Explorer using the same method. And you don't actually have to download the PKI onto your computer. So here we have an email. Um, you might get your PKI from Wendy Smith or someone else who is your administrator. First of all, you need to open the email, then find the PKI, which will be named portland underscore client dot p12. Double click on it. Click open, which will open the certificate import wizard. This is exactly where you want to be. Just to note, this is very important, if your computer has a different version of Windows or you're using a different version of the browser, yours may look different than the demo here on, in this video. So don't worry, try to follow those steps. If you have any problems, definitely reach out and we will help you get it installed. So let's continue with the Certificate Import Wizard. Click Next. And here we don't have to change the name of the file at all, so click Next again. All right, so there's going to be a password for you to enter. Uh, that will usually be sent along with the email. Insert the password and make sure to uncheck enable strong private key protection. That's just going to make it a, a little bit more of a hassle every time you log in. So make sure to uncheck that one. Leave the last one checked and then click next. This is the correct selection. Automatically select the certificate. Click Next. And then Finish. And you're done! It was a success! Congratulations! You have successfully installed the PKI for IE and Chrome. Alright, you're still with us? Great! Next we're going to look at how to directly install the PKI in Chrome. So in this situation, say the PKI has already been downloaded on your computer, how do you install it? Well, let's take a look. All right, first you got to find the three little dots on the right hand corner. Click on that and scroll all the way down to settings. Click on settings. And then you'll find at the bottom, Show Advanced Settings. Click on that. And scroll down until you find Manage Certificates. Click on the button. And then this shows all the certificates that are downloaded on your browser. If it's a new certificate, you need to click Import. Click Next. This should look familiar. It's the same certificate import wizard that we opened earlier. This time you have to find the file. After clicking browse, you have to look through your folders. Maybe you have it on your desktop, wherever you save the PKI. You have to find it. If it's on your desktop, go to your desktop folder. Make sure to change it to all files, otherwise you might not see it. Great, so you found the Portland underscore client PKI certificate. After you found it, click next, and now you're prompted to add the password again. Remember to uncheck enable strong private key protection and click next. If it's changed, you want to set it back to um, automatically select the certificate. Click Next and Finish. Great job! 
And there you have it. So that's how you install a PKI certificate in Google Chrome. All right, for all those Mozilla Firefox users, here's the guide for you. Uh, for Firefox, you have to download the PKI to your computer. First open up your browser, and then find the open menu button, click on options, and then head to advanced. Make sure that your certificates tab is selected, and make sure to select one automatically, otherwise they'll prompt you every time you try to access the website. And click view certificates, and since this is a new certificate, you need to click import. Now you have to find your PKI, if you have it on your desktop, and you found the file and enter the password, click OK. PKI has been added and then you now have access to service point. Alright, for our fourth step, for our Mac users, we recommend that you talk to your system administrator or your agency admin to ask them for special instructions on how to install the PKI for your computers. Lastly, let's take a look at how to remove an older PKI. The PKIs are replaced from time to time, so you'll have to do this step once in a while. All right, so we're going to show you how to do it in Google Chrome. Uh, on the top hand corner, click the three dots, settings, basically following the same steps as you did before. Go to manage certificates, and those are all the certificates you have. First of all, you need to figure out which PKI to delete. Take a look at the expiration date. The oldest one is usually going to be the one you need to get rid of. So click to highlight that one. And then click remove. Click yes. And it's removed. The process to remove the PKI from Firefox is just about the same find your certificate manager screen exactly the same steps as when you added them highlight the PKI you want to remove remember you can check the date for the ex expiration this one is uh, April 7th and click delete click OK and there you go Alright, thanks for listening and watching this video on installing your PKI security certificate. We hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.